Hi YouTube, I'm Crystal of CrystalSellsAndStuff.com. Welcome or welcome back to the channel where I share song pattern reviews and other fun song related content. So today I'm here to share with you my review of two makes that I made for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge for 2023 as well as, as, as to share a quick little haul with you from the things that I picked up during the live event in Katy, Texas, which is near Houston, Texas this year, just um, this past weekend. So anyway, I wanted to go ahead and share with you my two makes as well as a little mini haul. The first thing that I wanted to share with you is what I'm wearing and that is the Gathered Tunic by Beauty Jador Patterns um, by Nikki Brooks of Beauty Jador Patterns and you can pick up this pattern on Etsy. And so I made this really um, fun pattern. It's really a really quick and uh, fun make. There are only two patterns pieces you have a front that's cut on the fold and then the back that's um cut on the um on the grain line so just two pattern pieces so super super easy pattern um the fabric suggestions are um crepes linens anything with um a little bit of drape and um preferably with a little bit with two with two way stretch and so i use this really pretty uh kind of lemon yellow crepe that I believe I picked up from Metro Textiles in New York. I've had it in my stash for quite a while and I thought this would be a really good um, pick for it and so I'm so happy with how it turned out and it is just such an easy pattern. I think you'll love. I suggest this pattern for those of you who um, are familiar with sewing an invisible zipper because that's the only challenging part I would say of this about this pattern and so um, because there is an invisible zipper going down the back and so that's the only I would say challenging part of this pattern other than that it's really quick and a really fast so so the pattern is available in sizes small to double XL and I decided to go ahead and sew up a size medium and then I graded out to a large at the hip and I just the way I determined my pattern size is I measured the pattern pieces and then subtracted the seam allowance to figure out um, which pet which size to make because in the description it's measured in centimeters and then I couldn't really from the size chart and I really couldn't tell if it was the finished pattern measurements or your body measurements um in centimeters so I went on ahead and just go went on ahead and um, measured the pattern pieces and then subtracted the seam allows to determine my size and so again I sewed up the size medium and graded out to a large at the hip and so I'm happy with the fit of it I also um cut the bottom off at the extra small um length because I'm pretty short I'm 5'1 and so um, I'm happy with the length of it by doing that I do that a lot with patterns um <laughs> because I'm sure that just a lot of times I'll just cut it off at the shortest length and usually that works out um as far as the length goes because this is a length a long um tunic so I just wanted to not trip over it or anything so I'm really happy with how it turned out it's a really fun pattern and I just love the side slit and I was able to wear this this tunic kind of dress to the uh, meet and greet that they had at the live event on the on Friday night um, on the 24th um, down at the um, live BHM pattern designers event and so it was nice for going out to dinner and meeting people so I really enjoyed wearing this and it's a very very comfortable make so the next thing that I sewed up was the Linnell dress by Soda Fit Patterns and this is a really fun knit wrap dress and it's available in sizes 6 to 28 um, for bust sizes of 37 inches through 59 inches so a really good size range there and, and I sewed up the size 10 and graded out to a size 14 for the hips for the waist and hips um, with the pattern and I, I really enjoyed the fit of it on me for the bottom however I didn't notice that in the pattern description on the website that the pattern is designed for a cup size of C to double D and I'm a B cup so it was quite big in the front and so I had to take in the sleeves at the um, raglan sleeve um, lines in the front and the back and I also added a dart to the sleeves as well to take in some some of the extra space as well as I cut off um, some of the front and back of the front 
uh, crossover bodice pieces in order for it to fit me correctly. And so I'm happy with the fit overall after um, making those changes. And I really enjoyed how it turned out in this beautiful ombre fabric that Natita of So Natural Dane designed and sent to me. And so I'm really happy with all the beautiful colors in the fabric and how it looks in this wrap style. So those are the two makes that I made. Here are some fun pics and twirls of me wear, wearing it. I took some pictures um, in Texas of both of them, but I didn't get a twirl um, in Texas. So I have a twirl here on the deck of this wrap of this uh, gathered tunic. And then I have a, a quick uh, pic of me. A quick video of me doing the fashion show um, at the event. So anyway, go ahead and check out these pics and tw and twirls and fashion show <laughs> of the these two makes that I made for the 2023 BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. All right, so those are my two makes. I really had a wonderful time. I got to meet so many people. I got to meet a lot of YouTubers um, and uh, social media social media um, people that I follow here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. I got to meet Talisha of Creativity by T, Cherie, um, Cherie Thomas, um, who's here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. I got to meet Heather of Textile Tailored Thoughts. Um, I also got to meet that so Monica from Instagram. And also got to meet the twin, some of the founders of um, Sorority Wear, Nikki and Kiki Brooks. And so I got to meet them there and I got to take some fun classes. There were four classes at the event and um, one of the classes that I took was make a statement necklace and I got to make this really fun um, necklace is uh, based on the necklaces made in Ghana and I, it was a really fun class and I learned so much and we use these um, beads and we've got a chance to paint them that was a lot of fun I also made a fabric flower in the clay in the fabric flower class uh, taught by Anyo and so I really enjoyed um, making this beautiful fabric flower and she showed us how we can make them in different sizes as well as embellish them we embellished them with um see these little uh sequins in the middle so i really well rhinestones in the middle and it was just a really interesting class and she showed different ways that you can go ahead and switch up a fabric flower if you choose to make one so that was a very fun class there was also a textiles class taught by um miss beverly and she uh really explained a lot of um things about different textiles and how we use different textiles what they're made out of some are made out of hair animal hair some are made out of plant plants like flax is made from the um flax seed from the flax plant i mean linen is made from flax and so um it was really interesting to learn more about different textiles and then there was also oh, a color uh, cl a class about how to choose your colors if you ever choose to get your colors done and show um, she explained the process process of how a person would go and get their color colors done and she did a demonstration with a guest there so all the classes were amazing and I enjoyed um, meeting so many wonderful people at the live event so there was a wonderful uh, uh, gift bag for everyone who went to the live event and it was in this really nice tote bag with So Natural Dane on it. And so, um, of course, I got to meet Natita too. I forgot to say that, uh, So Natural Dane, but she had these nice uh, gift bags here um, that, that came with some really cool things. Let me show you what we received. So some some of the sponsors included different things in the bag. So we received this uh, pouch for the Caritas, Caritasi pouch by um, the Sew Your Bag um, 
Company by Catherine of Sew Your Bag. And so we received a little kit that goes with it to make this little pouch. And so I think that's really cute that we can make this really fun pouch with this little fabric kit. And it comes with a little zipper and it looks like some kind of interfacing and then um, fabric. So I really like this little kit that we received. We also received um, some bag sewing patterns from sewing patterns by Mrs. H. We received, I received, and different people got different um, bag patterns. So I received the loopy loop pattern. And this is a really cool kind of um, crossbody type bag. And then I also received the holy mayo sewing pattern, uh, bag pattern. So I think those are really nice patterns. And then one of the fabric vendors, so much fabric, she included, and one of the fabric vendors, so much fabric included some really fun gifts. So we got a new a point turner, a wooden point turner. And I love the wooden ones over the plastic ones. I feel like they get the point a little bit sharper and then there's um five eighths inch uh fold up over elastic that was included um from so much fabric as a gift in the gift bag and there's a gift card for um a month membership and there's also a gift card for a month membership to the rebecca page um makers membership and so i think that's really cool i've never tried that out and then we also got a nice button a so natural dame button as well as some information about some postcards from sorority wear um this the sewing sorority and they had representatives there um they had kiki and nikki brooks as well as that so monica who was, who were there at the event and they were vendors there and we also got a little um sticker from them as well so those were the things included in the gift bag and then i also um there was some fat shopping there from So Much Fabric. And so I picked up, I bought two uh, lengths of fabric. I picked up this clay tropical print rayon. I just think this is such a pretty color. And it's just a beautiful color. And it's a beautiful, like, orangey clay color. So it's a really nice. And I think I want to make a tank top or something with it. And then I got picked up this beautiful four-ply fabric. I forget the, um, the make of it the exact actual, actual textile, but it has, it's this really large print fabric and it has flow to it. And I'm thinking a dress or a really wide skirt would look great with this very large um, bold print. But I like that it's kind of neutrally colors because it's beiges and creams on a black background. And I also picked up some things from Sorority Wear and I picked up this really cool um, bag and you can put little if you go ahead and cut out a pattern you can go ahead and put all your pieces to the pattern in this bag so I thought that was really nice and it has a nice zip on it and it's a really big pouch so I think that is really cute so it's all your so essential so I really think that's such a cool thing that they put on the bag so I like this and then I also picked up this um, is a cosmetic case, but you can also use it as a, like a little tool case for your scissors and different things like that. So it's really cute. It's nice and deep and it came with a little scented uh, sachet in the middle. And so I like that. It has a nice handle and dual zipper so it zips from, you know, both sides from either side. You can zip it and it has a nice little carry handle so you can take your things with you. If you go to like a sewing retreat, this would be really good. Finally, I picked up this really cute bracelet. And it says love on there. And then it also says sisterhood and sew. So over in heart with little hearts on it. So this is such a cute little um, bracelet and I love it. So those are the things I picked up from sorority wear. I also picked up the monthly makes calendar that Natita is, has created so that you can go ahead and share. Go ahead and it's undated so you can start whenever you want and you could just fill out your month and put what someone makes and plan out your sewing month. And then you can do a wrap up of what you created. Um, you can put the pattern, the view you made, the size, the item you created, um, what fiber you use, um, if you co collaborated with someone with it, 
um, if you pattern tested or you did a fabric test with the company um, and if you shared it on social media, like on your blog or website, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, any way that you saved it. So I really think this is a really nice um, plan. And you can also do your monthly wrap up and say, OK, what did I learn? What did I learn this month? What do I want to change? Anything ideas for next month? So I really think this is really nice, a nice calendar. So I picked that up. I also picked up some bag pattern kits that will be coming later on. I also picked up two uh, bag um, pattern kits that are going to be coming in the mail. And I'll share with you, share those with you when they come. But I'll show you a picture right now. So I picked up Alcapulon, a reversible tote um, from uh, so from sew your bag as well, and that is a really um, it's a more of a beginner kind of pattern for sewing. It's a nice fun beginner pattern tote, and it comes with all the um, things that you need, like the fabric and the interfacing and things like that that you need for the pattern. And then I also picked up um, a more intermediate pattern, and it's called the Malisi Dot Divided Tote. And I picked this one up because I want to make another um like travel bag, and so I like that, and it has a center um a center section organizer section for that one. So I picked up those two. So I picked up those two um bag patterns from Sew Your Bag, Catherine of Sew Your Bag. And so I'm excited for those to come and go ahead and start trying to do some bag making. So the final thing was a pattern swap and I brought about five or six patterns and I picked up only three things from the uh pattern swap. I picked up this Lizette uh, jacket because I like the drape of it and there's also a nice dress included in this pattern as well but I like the flow of the front of this this coat and I think this will be a fun make for the fall and that is Butterick 6244 and then the other pattern some pattern I picked up was this Rebecca P Taylor dress I just love the back on it and it's a cute little A-line dress, but it looks like there's a lot of um, pleating and everything in it. So really interesting dress. It's either pleating or gathering. Um, I guess it looks more like pleats in the front. But anyway, I'll find out when I really get a good uh, look at the pattern. But I just love this style. That back is just so amazing. And this is um, this is considered an advanced um, pattern, but... I think I could swing it. <laughs> anyway, this again, this is Vogue, a Vogue designer pattern, and it's designed by Rebecca Taylor, and that is Vogue 1446. And then the final thing that I picked up was a Berta magazine from June 2010. And I just love this really cool um summer um beach cover-up that's on the cover right there. And so I went on and picked that up. And then there are a lot of really um, cute patterns in this issue. Again, that's the beach cover-up again. And like this little detailed necklace, um, necklace type uh, top, like a statement top. I really like that. And I really love this eyelet, um, off-shoulder eyelet top. So I picked up this really cool Berta Magazine is an um, older magazine from June 2010. That's everything I picked up from the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. But, um, you know, Natita, she picked, she took me home back to the airport. She picked me up and take, took me back to the airport. And on the way back to the airport, we went to a really fun fabric store. Took me to High Fashion Fabrics. And so I was able to pick up two pieces. I could only pick up two because... I was running out of space. I went carry on only for this trip. And so um, I didn't have a lot of space in my bag to pick up more fabrics, but I was able to pick up two pieces. So I picked up this really fun kind of um, tie-dye, shibori looking um, chambray fabric. It's a nice little lightweight fabric. I picked up three yards of this. It has a nice drape to it. I think this would be cool for a nice shirt dress or some kind of like maxi dress. Um, with the chambray uh, fabric, I think this is such a little nice, unique kind of print with hexagons and like stars in it. It's a really cute um, design I like for the chambray and it's lightweight and breathable. It's cotton, so it'll be great for the summer. And then the last thing, that other thing that I picked up was this bamboo knit with um, ginkgo leaves on it. 
really beautiful fabric and it's lightweight and it's made of bamboo. And, um, so it's a nice knit fabric. It has a nice give to it and it feels really lightweight. And I think this would be great for sewing something like a top or a dress in the summer. All right, so that's everything that, uh, so those are my makes and then my haul from the um, from the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge 2023. I really had a great time participating this year and getting to meet so many amazing people. Um, I finally got to meet Myra, Myra Lorraine. Um, it was just so much fun seeing and Natita that I've been friends with online for years and so many other people that I mentioned before. And so I'm so glad I got a chance to go and it was just nice a nice fun and relaxing weekend we even went out and um for drinks after the whole event was over and we had a good time dancing um so we really um had a great time and i just had so much fun meeting everyone and meeting people that um I follow and they follow me. I got to meet Patricia, one of my um, favorite uh, subscribers who always comments on my channel. Um, so I'm really, I was so happy to get finally to go somewhere and go to a really fun sewing meetup. So hopefully she'll have this again soon and I'll get to go again. Um, so I really enjoyed it and I hope you get a chance to um, go as well um, when it comes back around. All right. Thank you so much for watching and checking out the channel day. And until next time, happy sewing. Take care. Bye.